Okay, welcome to my next video. Oh, good. It's just we right after the, the second ceremony. one, with nothing else happening but this cutscene so I'm far. No expert, but so that seems more appropriate. Welcome, and I hope you now, guys will enjoy. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? to meet the headmaster fig hmm. nice of you to join us the sorting ceremony is over there were complications complications it seems the goblin Enough. problem has goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had left huh. if it's you're lucky up. we might still be able to get you sorted this evening <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Hey, Professor. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Is she Weasley? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. I'm more than okay being in Hufflepuff because that's what my thing said. I'll accept it. Better be Hufflepuff! Um, I have to puffer. <laughs> that sounds weird. Bye. That's fine. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Not Quidditch. I don't even know what that is. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Okay, I... As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. 
As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I don't know if this theme relates to Ron Weasley. That's the only person I know. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. What? Okay. Well done. Huh. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I, I shall be back in the morning yeah, to I let you see your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Old lady Weasley. Honestly, I thought that was gonna be Ron Weasley, and it actually shows interest from the movies. But you know, who knows? I don't know if there's anyone yet. I never watched the Harry Potter's, so I would not know. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Yeah, I have liquid in there. I could have added bites like I ate it. But hey. Oh, okay, I just push it open. Lumos. Hmm. I'll make sure there's nothing I can collect. Oh, level off three. I could steal from someone. I don't know if that's something you guys should have implemented, but hey. Whatever. Or you, uh, that pressure of information. I just, okay, nothing. That's how you put the music. Just want to make sure there's no secrets. Okay. Let's go through here. Nothing else other than one kid I could steal from. Two kids you could steal from. And another thing I could take from. What's this? 
Oh, food. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Can I play chess? <gasps> That's gotta be a mini game. Play chess. And you gotta play chess with like everyone or something like that. Okay, let's continue on. Ooh. Hello, Al. I suppose the introductions are in order. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your Al? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Huh. Wait. You're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. She of course, be really nice. presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. And that's nice to meet you. meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Getting weird. Oh, hey. Spinning every glove I see. Who are you? I'm just gonna grab a thing while looking at you. Okay, have fun. Ah, I would go upstairs, but I want to spin more globes. Then eat every bit of food there is. Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? If you don't mind, I'd prefer to just forget about it. Oh dear, it must have been bad. I mean, of course it was. I know I would have been terrified. Sorry. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. I feel like this future quest. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Okay, where's that cat? No. Sounds like it's getting murdered. Oh. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Okay, I found a cute uh, cat. I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. <laughs> His voice Thank makes you. him sound way nice older. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Hmm? I do I'm think sorry to amazing. hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. 
Nifflers, Glumbumble, Bowdruggles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Oh, I never did this. bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> so anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the it's puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> nice meeting. No idea where my is. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Sounds interesting. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. <laughs> Maybe I could run up the other side? I really want up there. Nope, can't get up there now. Might be a future thing then. Okay, let's go. Whoa, that's cool. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've yeah, been sure. dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Okay. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay, so your special treatment. Whoa. Here you book. are. Hogwarts book. I'm guessing of all four years. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Okay. Nice. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. And it just disappeared in my armpit. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. They probably already put the first four years worth of everything. That looks cool. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I like how it stops. Like, oh, 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 oh. Pretty cool. This way. Any secrets? <laughs> the guy will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate Whoa. yourself about wizarding lore. Whoa, that's an aimer. Hold on. This is awesome. I destroy everything you possibly can. If you can permit it, you destroy it. Something over there. Yeah, see? Revelio. Ah. What 
Uh, I don't understand. I certainly would have appreciated something like a tour guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Give me this. Do keep up. Do keep up. I am fussy. Amazing, a lot of this much carnage. What is back here? Oh, come on. Ah, should have hit something like a chest. It would have had one gold in it. Still reward them, though. More food. That dude should get be getting fat. That should be a funny mechanic. Whoa. Rebellion. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Go, 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 go. For more opportunities like that Rebellion. inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Oh, whoa, Rebellion. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flute flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, the map. There's a great wall. There's who knows what about that? The great wall. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, okay. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Rebellion. Yeah. Almost anywhere in the castle, quickly from Central Hall. He, oh. Oh, that's a T. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, so there's still stuff down here that I haven't gotten. Yeah, it's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. There's mermaids, goblins, unicorns, werewolves. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. Okay. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Uh, is that even loud? Butter beer? beer. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. 
A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. So she's not Come and find it. me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. So, oh, escape.
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. You got it, sir. Well, duh. Revelio. Wait, what is this, though? See? I can't do anything with that? Okay. Hmm. Let's go. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, who are you? Okay. Oh, I see. Just push open door. Cool. I'll be back. How about this door? So, yeah. See a little harder. Oh, okay. Wow. Revelio. I did see it. Give me that. Um, I mean, once so. Yes. Oh. Is that a feather? Okay guys, I'm back. I went to go do something, so if you hear any background noise, just don't mind it. So, I'm going to go back to figuring this out. It's got to be something to do with these triangles. Maybe you have to be level 17? Huh. I have no idea. Huh. No. Rebellion. 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 That's a cool thing. Short out your wand. Uh, E. Bam, bam, bam. Let me in. Okay, I'll figure it out later, probably. <laughs> Hold up, it's over here. Lumos. Revelio. Okay, let me see. Look at this. Look at the water. This is peaceful. This is a good one. Is there like a free roam camera? Hello, free roam camera. Free roam camera. I'm gonna go with this. 
No, that's not right. This free room camera. Okay, I uh, do not think there's a free room camera. Anything about a uh, camera? Telescope? No. Okay, no free room camera. That's good to know. Can I like project myself out and take a photo? photo? Be cool. That's a thing that'd be amazing. <laughs> What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang it. I see treasure and I want it. And the game okay. says no, and it's annoying. Whoa. <laughs> is that the painting is of a young orphan wizard, Illuminus, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the Dark Wizard Rosa by conjuring a mouse Patromos. Okay, whatever that is. I leveled up because I'm so great. Ooh, Doggo. Um, the poor doggo Rebellion. doesn't get to live in peace or rest in peace. Okay, can't do this yet. Uh, what's with this stinky guy? Stinky gas. Oh, watch the tile under your feet. You must go up. Okay. Revelio. This is a show what and Protego Lumos. Revelio. Oh, I don't know any more tricks. Are we upstairs? Revelios. Potatoes. The two main spells. Animus. Lightamos. Ooh, Lightamos. Potatoes and and Hido. Don't know what you guys think about my new names for these. I think they're way better than they could ever come up with. Hello, Pterodactyl. Hey yo, Rebellion. reveal yourselves. Hmm. I could do that. And leave. Not in the... Hey, people, you're dead. Get out of here. Hello there. I must be British. This must... Oh, wait. Yeah, then. Yeah, okay. Makes sense why there's tea everywhere. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Die! You stupid eyes! Let's go. I think this is class. Stupid fire. Is that all you've got? Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. 
To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Levitato. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I want to do the dragon school. Wow! I learned a new school. I like how that's how you learn stuff. Levioso. Aha, uh -huh. I'm good. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, I'm first. Levioso. I can do it with these. Watch. What button is it? L? Let us begin oh, better not with a basic be. cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso, good. Now, well done. I think she was going to say now use basic Very blast, good, but, but I did the best faster. way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. Potatoes! Yes, I get to use potato. <laughs> this should be easy. You're good. How's the view? Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Hey, executed Hey y'all, you should do better. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Let's kill him. Everyone down to kill him. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Yay, Professor Hufflepuff. Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to good. practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Hi. Oh, fire and duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Yeah, you'll die. If you know the right You've dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. I'm on track too. Okay, I skipped that deal on accident. Revelio. Revelio. Ha 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 ha. I am not blind. Ooh, dragon skull. The large dragon skeleton that hangs in a defense against the dark art classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hellcat after she single handedly defeated one of the largest poaching ranks in Eastern Welsh. During the great poacher raid of 1878, is that why they're so little? She murdered them all. Why? Why murder them? 
Revelio. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Heck yeah. Till I'll beat time. you, man. Ah, oh, well, I'm not trapped here. Revelio. 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 Oh, there you go. Revelio. I'm up to running to my next class. Thank you very much. Let's go up here and get this real quickly that I see. Revelio. Is there anything I'm missing? Ooh, what is this I ask? Whoa, okay, that's cool. Don't wanna. Just gonna run over here. Redeem. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, nothing here. Oh, oh, kitty. Yes, kitty cat. Oh, that's just real weird. Yeah, you better keep your head down, Knight. Revelio. What's that, that over there? Hey, keep it still, Knight. Knight. Ah, uh, dang. Yeah, I gotta stay in formation. Oh, okay. So this door glows. Okay. Go! Run like the night! I swear to lordy, he has stopped moving. Rebellion. Ooh! Oh, okay. One can get in here. Oh, I got a rugged hat. What in the. I don't know. Um, what are you in the bathroom? Okay. Oh. Flush the toilet. Flush the toilet. Ha ha ha. Flush the toilet. Nee nee nee. Flush the toilet. Oh my god, what did I do? Oh, Yeah. 
You know what? I leveled up, didn't I? Gear? Okay. Hands? What do I have here? Oh, is this from Purifier? Oops. Can't let me see. Oh, I don't like that. Yet, but I... No, I don't want me. I like that one better. Okay, I see. But let's see where you see that later. Protego. Revelio. Revelios. Oh, look at that. It's a saber tooth kitty. Saber tooth kitty. Saber tooth kitty. It goes meow like a saber tooth kitty. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to run. <gasps> kitty! Yes! I gotta put all the cats and owls and dogs and whatever else is in here. I don't know if there's any. What the odd is. I just know there's cats and owls and I hope there's dogs. In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a flag. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> get A! He walked into my path. They just wanted to be petted. I didn't even see it. It's a pretty kitty too. Oh. Okay. Okay. Zero. Oh, okay. Accidentally petting a kitty cat again. So zero would be that. Mystery is zero and three and five, so that's eight. What was that for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that shows a unicorn. And then twelve and four. So that's sixteen after unicorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No. 5, then 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
Well, that doesn't seem right. Nope, I have no idea. I'll do this later. Maybe I'll get a clue on how to do those. Rebellion. Levioso. Oh. What is up this tower? Rebellion. A task for you to speak the wizard Baron the Baron foolish attempt to train golems for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact of the arts he had succeeded. Run, run, forest, run. Run as fast as you can because I went the wrong way because I knew I can. Off on another adventure, are we? Yep. Hello. Oh, fast. I started. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Why do you sound like you're from Wakanda? Hello. I am Nettie. What kind of forever? So you are the new student. I could respect it. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, nope. it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Stelioso. 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 Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna stelioso it. Pretty sure this is what this is. Yep, it's a still it. Stelioso. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Huh. After me! Just learning how to steal stuff from someone is good enough for him. Stelioso. Load, 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 load. It is load, 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 loading. I don't know if I should keep these load times in. Might make me guess with the pain. Hence, some enemies are vulnerable to certain spells and techniques in your arsenal. Visit the collections and to discover the hidden bays of weaknesses of hidden enemy weaknesses. Ah, 
Oh, here. Remember the toes that exit? Oh, okay. Hi. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> okay. Hmm. We have our newest student start us off. Hmm? Eh? What am I doing now? Am I stealing the ball? Oh, I'm trying to make it come. Oh, it starts off as zero. Very simply, cast Accio on Accio. one of the spheres and relinquish. Splendid! Stay focused. Now, uh, think of this like gallstones, if you will. Very good. Happens to the best of us. Excellent. Whoa. Composure. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh god, I got double tap it. Stay what? Focused. Here we go. Oh, come on, she could just what? click it and be done. So, bam, one click, bam, all the way to 50. What in the? That is how it's done. Akio. Oh, dear. Oh, restart. Can I restart? Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Yeah. Oh, come on, I fairly <laughs> didn't. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. To go, yes. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Plus 
Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. So why are we going to Good season? game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Took me a minute. Oh. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world. Kanda, Uganda? That country. is significantly close. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Oh, hello. Yes, but hey. I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived. We're done. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, boy, game. <sighs> Are you still playing Hogwarts? No, I've decided to go and download a new game called I'm a Smarty Pants 101 and learn how to be a Smarty Pants 101. Mm. I don't, I've never, never heard of that game. Yeah. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. You're still making videos for uh, Hogwarts? Yeah, I'm in the middle of one. Not to okay. quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is. Yeah, I didn't say you were playing the game, so I'll see what you're doing. The castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you, Baazi. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Okay. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. So how you like in the Hogwarts game? You can use Good. Accio on humans. A word, if you would. After my brother learned the summoning... Well, you'd be using it on his clothing, to be precise, Beth. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Nice. There we go. Okay. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh, uh, do you know when you want to play Ark? Mm -hmm. My brother sure William would tell you not I'm to be so humble this. and to trust your abilities. Then again, you might not even play Ark today. No idea. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. How was it? Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching my second episode. Hope you guys enjoy, and hopefully I see you guys for the next one.